I'm going to say this one time before I completely delete this channel. Marty, you are the biggest, saddest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. You have a sick obsession with me. And it seems like no matter how many times I tell you to leave me alone, you keep trying to force yourself into my life. And I don't want you in my life. Honestly, I wish I never knew you or even met you. All the things you have done to me are sickening. Even CIA hole doesn't like you. Because not only did you stab him in the back, you're scared of him because every time he stands up for you, you get every time he stands up to you again against what you're doing, he gets he gets you every time. You get scared. And Marty, what you did tonight almost destroyed me. Turning my friends against me. Turning one of my longest time friends against me. All for what? Views. Let me tell you, Nick. I was so enraged by what you did that I genuinely considered, and I'm not even joking when I say this, I genuinely considered finding your house, finding your apartment, and killing you. But I did not act on that. Because you're not worth the fucking prison time. You literally destroyed me that bad that I actually considered murder. But as I said, there's a difference between me and you, Nick. I don't act on my impulses of wanting to murder you. I hold them back. And rightfully so. Because going to prison is not worth it to me. You're not worth a fucking prison sentence. But I will say this. I will not stop coming after you or attacking you. I will continue to fight against you until you are off of every single platform on social media. I will continue to fight back against everything you've done to me for the last seven years. You think that just because you got money, you can walk all over whoever you want, whenever you want. Well, I'm sorry, Nicholas Bitchler. That's not how the world fucking works. That's not how reality works. I understand that I've made some mistakes. But you're the one that caused me to act out the way I have all these years. You think I like making death threats? You think I like being angry? No. I hate it. I detest it. Whenever I look at you, I get sick to my stomach. Just the mere sight of you makes me physically sick.
Like I told you, Nick, I will not stop coming after you, Edward Boy, or William. I will continue to harass your channels and attack you until you guys are off of every single platform. Why? Because you guys are internet bullies. And I stand up for the weak. I stand up for those like myself that you bully. And let me tell you right now, Marty, there's a major difference between me and Tony. Tony on paper, on record, is a real fucking pedophile. He's been charged. I have not. I have never gotten arrested for this shit. But you look at Tony, he's been arrested. He's gone to prison for this shit. Don't believe me? Look up his fucking records. There's a major difference between me and him. I got tricked. He did real pedophile shit. So let me ask you this, Marty. Why does Tony get a pass and I don't? Why do you fucking put him on a pedestal like he's some sort of hero? Why is that? Why is it that Tony gets a pass, but yet everybody wants to berate me? Why is that? But what I, what I want to know most of all, Nick, is why is it that when I told you to leave me alone, you couldn't do it? Is leaving me alone impossible for you? Oh, yeah, I don't get it. Do you get some sort of enjoyment out of bullying people? Do you know how many times I've thought about taking my own life because of you, Marty? And how many times I've attempted it because of you? It's a lot more than you think. Because of people like you, Nick, I live with depression and PTSD every day. And it's not easy to deal with. It's really not. Every day I wake up wondering, when will this fucking nightmare end? Every day I wake up wondering, is today going to be the day that I finally get away? Is today going to be the day that I finally get to show who I really am and show that I'm not an evil fucking person like people make me out to be. Every day I wake up wondering when will this nightmare fucking end? Watching my family suffer It breaks my heart. Watching my friends be turned against me fucking destroys me. But yeah, you do it for your own enjoyment. You commit literal fucking felonies. But yeah, nothing gets done. I don't understand it, Nick. All I've ever asked of you is to leave me the fuck alone. Ever since I turned you down, all I ever asked of you is to leave me the fuck alone. 
That's all I've ever asked of you is to leave me alone. But you couldn't do that, could you? You had to harass me. You had to harass my family. You had to turn my friends against me. All so you could fucking isolate me. I don't understand why you couldn't just leave me alone. Like I told you on your stream, Nick, I want nothing to do with you. I want you out of my life forever. And yes, I do wish death upon you. I do wish that you were dead. Because maybe if you were dead, I wouldn't have to worry about being fucking bullied every fucking day of the week. So yes, I do wish that you would kill yourself. I do wish that you were fucking dead. Because of everything you put me through for the last seven years. Seven years of pure fucking hell from you. Every day is a never-ending nightmare because of you. So yes, I do wish you would kill yourself, Nick. I really do. I wish that you would fucking die. Because you are fucking evil. You are literally the devil reincarnated. You are literally the most evil person I have ever seen in my life. But yeah, you sit here and you make me out to be this evil person that I'm really not. Why is that? Say so you can maintain a control on me, you stupid fuck. Is that what this is all about, Nick? Control? And, you know, if anybody thinks that I'm not human, y'all are full of fucking shit. Because let me tell you motherfuckers in the chat something. You guys don't know what my life is like outside the cameras when they're not on. Y'all don't truly understand the hell that I deal with. The depression that I deal with. The thoughts of suicide that I deal with. You don't understand what it's like every day for me to wake up and see another video being made about me, about how I'm this evil fucking person. You don't know or understand what it's like for me to wake up every day. And see what I deal with. Seeing the evil comments. Seeing the people that hate me just for the sake of hating. Nick. You don't understand what the fuck you've done to me. And I wish for once you would just fuck off. And leave me alone. You, William, and Roy, I wish you all would just leave me alone. That's all I've ever asked is for you to leave me the fuck alone.
and to Raven, I had to say, but blocking them doesn't work. Blocking Nick doesn't work, dude. Nick. Nicholas C. Beagler. I'm giving you one fair warning right now. Before I nuke this channel. To leave me alone. You, Edward Blaine William, all three of you need to leave me alone. Let me live my life in fucking peace. Let me do what I need to do to better myself. Let me do what I need to do to make money. Stop attacking me. Stop going after my friends. And stop going after my family. And stop preventing me from doing shit that I want to do. It's not your life. You don't control it. You don't own it. And William and Edward, boy, the same goes for you, motherfuckers. You don't own my life. You don't run my life. I do. If I want to do something, I should be allowed to do it. And Nick, I'm giving you an N-word boy and William. I'm giving you all a fair warning right now. To leave me alone. Otherwise, I will be seeking out a lawyer. And I will be taking legal action against all three of you. And that's not a joke. What you did to me tonight fucking destroyed me. Made me feel worse than I ever have. You turned somebody that was like a little sister to me. Against me. Somebody that I considered family for years. You blatantly turned them against me. Nick, it's because of you that I want to retire from YouTube so fucking bad. It's because of you that I want to nuke every channel and run away and hide. It's because of you that I wake up every day scared. Wondering what the fuck to do. Wondering when will this nightmare fucking end. And no, I'm not going to dance. I am never dancing again. Period. And I don't care if you like it or don't like it. I am never, ever, 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 ever dancing again. So stop fucking asking. I am retired and I am staying retired from dancing. Plain and simple. Nick, let me tell you right now, man. Do you have any idea how badly I want to retire and go to Twitch or kick, but can't because of you and your little friends? I want to retire from kick.
or not from kick, but from YouTube and go over to kick and Twitch so bad, but yet you won't let me. Why is that? Is it because you know that's where I'll be making money at? Is that why you won't let me retire from YouTube? Is that why you're forcing me to stay on this fucking platform? So you have a place to fucking bully me? And CIA, I know that he, I know that he'll agree with me when I say this to you, Nick and William and Emerald Boy. All three of you are sad, pathetic pieces of human trash. All you do is sit online and you fucking bully people. That's all you do. You sit there online and you fucking bully people for views. You destroy lives for views. How many lives have you destroyed already, Nick? Besides mine. How many of you destroyed that we don't fucking know about, huh? How many? How many, matter of fact, how many people have you killed and gotten away with it? Because I can count three already. Those two prostitutes and Jamie Nicole. That's three right there. I was almost the fourth. Saren, your ex-girlfriend, was almost the fifth. You're a fucking murderer, Nick. You're a psychopathic fucking murderer. You're a killer. And I can't say that he had anything to do with Inquisitor's death, but I would not be surprised if he had a hand in trolling him. I would not be surprised. I didn't say he himself had a hand in it, but people from that community were in on the trolling. I don't know if he himself was into that shit, but I do know that the, some of the people that he knew were in on the trolling. Now, if he was involved with that, I would not be surprised one single bit. I really would not be surprised. All I know is that I'm sick of YouTube allowing this kind of behavior to go on. Crimes being committed. People being pushed to the brink of death. People being pushed to the brink of suicide and self-deleting. People's lives being ruined for views and money and laughs. When does it fucking end? When does somebody from YouTube finally step up and say enough is enough? We need to do something about this shit. And you're not wrong, CIA. That's another one that I did forget about was that Lego kid. I genuinely forgot about that. That's another person that y'all bullied to suicide, Marty. That's another one y'all fucking pushed to, the, to suicide and he ended up taking his life. You and all your friends.
And I'm sorry for anybody that defends Marty. It's just as much of a sick piece of shit as he is. Any one of you motherfuckers that defends Marty, it's just as much of a piece of shit as he is. I'm tired of watching good people get killed. I'm sick of being pushed around. And I'm even sicker of watching good people take their own lives. And ending up with their lives ruined. Because of people like Nick. People like N-Word Boy. People like William. The only times I think about the people that have lost their lives because of these people, it's a lot more than you fucking think. I think about those people that these guys killed and pushed to the edge every day. Every day I wonder how many people has Marty killed and gotten away with? How many people has Marty and William and Edward Boy pushed to the edge of suicide and gotten away with? Every day I think, when is YouTube going to get the thumb out of their ass and start to do something about this shit? And when is law enforcement actually going to step up and do their job and actually do something about these people? Every day I think about those people that have taken their own lives, that have been pushed to the edge. I think about close friends like Jamie all the fucking time. I think about the friends that I've lost. The family members I've had to cut off. Friends that have died fighting the good fight. Every day I think about those people. Every day I think about those that I've lost and those that the community on YouTube has lost because of people like Marty. The lives that have been ruined because of him. I think about those people every fucking day. I think about guys like Inquisitor every day. Because none of those people deserved what they got. Chris Chan didn't deserve what he got. Inquisitor, most of all, didn't deserve any of what he got. Lego Kid didn't deserve to be self-deleted. Jamie, my friend, didn't deserve to be killed.
my friend Saren, one of my closest friends, didn't deserve to be held hostage in your home, Nick. You held her hostage and then threatened her family if she told anyone. Which is why she didn't speak up. You're the reason why she didn't go to the police. Because you threatened her family. That's why she didn't go to the police like she wanted. It makes me fucking sick. All you had to do, Nick was leave me the hell alone. That's all you had to do. And you're not wrong. If I could have had a chance to help Inquisitor before he took his life, I would have. I would have reached out had I known what was going on. Had I known that Inquisitor was going through some shit, I would have stepped up without a fucking second thought. Without a second thought or a second glance at all whatsoever. I would have stepped up and I would have reached out and I would have helped him if I could have. You don't know how many times I wish I could have helped him. How many times I wished I could have been there. To tell him that taking his life ain't worth it. Just like my friends saved my life. Just like my family saved my life. When I was on the edge. And I had attempted to take my own life. I would have stepped up and helped him out if I could have. Without a second thought, I would have. Because I understand what it's like to live with depression. I understand what it's like to live with PTSD. I understand what it's like to fantasize about taking your own life because you want to get away. Because you want everything to fucking end. I have been there more times than I can fucking count. Every day is a never ending fucking nightmare for me. Every day I wake up wondering when will this all end? When will it stop? When will I be free to go back to who I was before all this? When will I get the chance to show that I'm not the evil fucking person that people make me out to fucking be? When will I be able to go back to being myself again? Every day I think about that shit. 
constantly wondering when will this nightmare end. Every day, me and my family live in fear. Wondering when the cops are going to show up. Wondering if I'm going to get arrested for shit that I didn't fucking do. Wondering if somebody's going to show up with a fucking gun to fucking kill us. After all the times we've been shot at. All the times we've had people trying to murder us. People that have tried to set bombs off on us to try to murder us. Every day I think to myself, is today going to be the day that I die? Is today going to be the day that someone fucking takes my life or my family's lives. Or is today going to be the day that everything ends and I can go back to being normal? Because let me tell you something, I want to go back to being myself so fucking bad. I really do. I want to go back to being who I was so fucking bad. But what I don't understand is why is that no one will fucking let me go back to who I was? Why is it that no one will let me go back to being the person that I used to fucking be? I had a life. You know, back in 2017, I had a life. I was working on music, doing shows, having fun with my friends, going out and enjoying life. I was enjoying life, living life every fucking day. But then all that got ripped away because Marty wanted to target me. Now I sit here every day in my room, scared, feeling trapped, feeling like my house is a fucking prison. Feeling like I have no escape. These are things that I deal with every day. I can't go outside like I used to. I can't do photography like I used to. I can't go for walks. Half my friends got turned against me because of Marty. Some of them my fucking closest friends in the world. I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. Because people will follow me. That's my life every day. That is my life every day. Not able to do anything. Living in fear. I'm 33 years old, man. I should be making money and living life and enjoying life. But instead, I sit here stuck in my room every day like it's a fucking jail cell.
you know, you don't need to send me to fucking jail for the shit and the mistakes I've made. Because my life in this house is a jail cell and a prison every day to me. I said, y'all want to y'all want to be in jail? Don't worry, you don't need to look very fucking far. Because my house has become a jail cell to me. I don't go outside. I don't get to do things I used to do, things I enjoyed. Like hanging out with friends, hanging out with family, going for walks. Enjoying life. Because that's what I used to do. Back in 2017, I had everything. I really did. I had everything going for me. I had my career that was taking off. My music was doing great. I was playing shows almost every other fucking week. I had an amazing girlfriend that I was happy to be with. I had everything. But all that ripped away because of one selfish human being. All because of one selfish fucking prick that didn't want to let me be. I had everything. I had everything in the palm of my hand. Everything I had worked so hard to build. I had everything in the palm of my hand that I had worked so hard to achieve. But now, I have nothing. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fight with no money. I don't know how to take back and get back everything that I've lost. I genuinely don't know what the fuck to do. All I want is my life back. That's all I want is to have my life back. All I want is to be successful for my family and for my friends. All I want is my life back that was stolen and ripped away from me. 
Is that really that fucking much to ask for? Is that really that much to ask for to have my life back that was stolen from me unfairly and unjustly? Is that really that much to fucking ask for to want to be successful for my friends and my family? You know, people think that I have it easy, but I don't. People think that I have all this money, but I actually don't. All I have right now to my name is literally 40 some odd cents. That's all I have to my name. All I have is 40 cents. In a life that I'm fighting so hard to get back that I lost. And every time I try to do good for myself, you know what they do? They rip it away from me. Why do you guys think that I'm not on Twitch or on Kick anymore? Because every time... Every time I tried to get a little bit ahead and I start doing good for myself, they mass report me for no reason. They shut me down for no reason. Because they don't want me making a living. They want to see me suffer. I tried going down that road as a programmer, dude, but there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that goes into that. And it's honestly more than my brain can honestly handle. And I'm not saying that in a funny way. Like, imagine learning a whole new language. But instead of, like, you know, words and stuff, you're literally learning how to type out all kinds of shit. It requires a lot of math and a lot of stuff that I just could never understand. Morty, all I ask from you and William and Edward Boy and the Trolls is just one thing, which is to leave me alone and let me live my life. That's all I ask, is that you give me back my life that you stole from me. That's all I ask, is that you give me back my life that I, that I, that I was robbed of. That's all I ask. Is that you give me back my life that was stolen from me. And let me live my fucking life. That's all I want. Is to live my life. And to be able to be a pro streamer again. And to be able to show people that I'm not a bad guy.
All I want to do is be successful for my family, doing what I love, not doing anything wrong, not bothering anybody, just doing what I love and what I'm good at and being successful with it by making a living from it. That's all I ask. Is that really that much to fucking ask? Hey, Ross, to you, man, does that sound like, to Ross and Blue Devil, does that really sound like that much, does it really sound like I'm asking for very much to have my life back and to be able to do what I need to do to make an honest living? Does that sound like very much to you? To want to have my life back? that was ripped away and to be successful for my family. Is that, is that that much to ask for? That's all I've ever wanted was to be successful for my family and my friends and to help those along the way that I could help. That's all I've ever asked for. By the way, Kuma, I definitely agree with that 100%. I agree with that. And yo, Amy, if you want to know what's really going on, go back to the very beginning of the of the stream and it'll explain everything. I promise you that. I can honestly say that I can't even begin to put into words how much I miss my old life. How much I miss my friends that I used to talk to and hang out with. How much I miss living a normal life. How much I miss being able to do things that I used to do without being attacked or bullied. I can't even begin to tell you how much. I miss having that one person by my side that I can share my life with, to be happy with, and to share what I'm doing with. Just being normal. Without being attacked. I miss just sitting down, watching TV with friends, family, 
not having to look over my shoulder every five seconds, not having to worry about when someone's going to show up to my house. Those are all things that I have to worry about every fucking day because of people like Marty and William and Edward Boy. Those are all things that I have to worry about. And it fucking kills me. Honestly, Akuma, man, I can't tell you the last time I got any real sleep. I really can't. The last time I got any real good sleep, dude, was before all this shit started in 2017. That was the last time. I ever had anything, a normal night's sleep, a healthy life, didn't have all these health issues, was it under all this stress? Like I said, dude, that was literally the last time I had any kind of real rest was back in 2017 when I wasn't being attacked every five seconds or made out to be this bad guy every five seconds. And when I do sleep, it's very fucking rare. Every day and every night is constantly up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Having to make sure no one's breaking into my shit. Having to keep an eye on shit. Always having cops at our door in the morning or at all hours of the night. Having people show up at all hours of the night. Like I said, man, the last time I got any real sleep was back in 2017 before all this shit started. That was the last time I had got any real, like I do mean real ass fucking sleep. And it fucking sucks. Every day is a never-ending nightmare. And let me tell you something. When I do go to sleep, I don't have dreams. When I go to sleep, I go to war with my demons. Every night, I wrestle my demons. And y'all sit there and y'all can sit there and laugh and say whatever. But unless you've gone through what I've gone through, you can never begin to comprehend the demons that I wrestle every night in my sleep. The shit that I deal with, the nightmares, the night terrors that I deal with. The cold sweats that I wake up with. Especially after being shot at.
my life isn't easy. In fact, it's far from it. It's far from fucking easy. And all I've ever asked of anyone is to let me be successful. Let me live my life. And Marty, that's all. Marty, that's all I've ever asked is for you to leave me alone. Because you might not care about the demons that I face. But my family and my friends that are still beside me, they do care. And they see me struggle. And I see them struggle. And Marty, Nick, I'm going to say this. Whatever I did to wrong you, even though I don't believe I did, but if I did do something to wrong you, I apologize. I'm sorry if I did anything to wrong you, man. But you have to understand that a lot of the shit you started. And all I ask is that you and William and Edward Boy leave me alone. That's all I ask. Yo, Amy, yes, I do. Let me tell you, David, there's a lot that I've been dealing with that I've been keeping quiet about. And if you want to know all about what's been going on, by all means, feel free to go back to the beginning of the video and you'll see what I mean. It's not been easy for me. It's been hell on earth for me for the last seven years. I've just gotten real good at hiding it, even though I don't want to. Oh, he definitely is. Matter of fact, Amy, if you want a good taste about how evil these guys are, go watch the video where I expose them.
But with that being said, guys, I'm going to bounce off of her and I'm going to attempt, keyword attempt, to get some sleep. And hopefully tomorrow, which I highly doubt, but hopefully tomorrow there will be Well, hopefully there will be something that can be done. I hope. But yo, to to race and see Amy. If you want to add me on Discord, my Discord's right there. Matter of fact, anybody, if y'all want to add me on Discord, right there is my Discord up top. Matter of fact, I'll repost it again just in case. But if y'all don't have me on Discord and you guys would like to add me, you guys are more than welcome. But with that being said, I'll try to catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.